Today turned out a little different than I expected, but I think it might be okay for a handful of individuals. So uh, I got a request or a comment or basically, hey, check this out. It just popped up. And uh, man, do I like UFO. And uh, But Rock Bottom is a great tune. And I actually think uh, the new version I just heard might be one of the best versions of it I've ever heard. And I didn't, I didn't want to go uh, uh, get all goofy. But yeah, I thought it was exceptional. That being said... I literally warm up my work day with a UFO, UFO song. I I mean, it's been like at least five, maybe maybe a week and a half. Uh, could have been... Uh, so like every day, I get there, I, I got my, my nice little lunchbox who's got a speaker in it, and they all make fun of me because I come in with a lunchbox. And, yeah, I'm kidding. Greek squad. Yeah, so I walk in with my little uh, speaker and my box. Yeah, I pull up my, set it all up. And and uh, <clears throat> this is how I, every, so every day it's this right now. Because it just gets the juices flowing. Now, if you take a long, deep dive into that album cover, Lights Out, UFO, um, Electric Phase, this is the 2008 remaster. Uh, interesting uh, things going on in there, but that's for another time, another place. I, I know that the music is just laced with uh, sexual, oozing sexual uh, desires, love and uh, conquests and loss. I, this is just to get my motor running shit. No joke. On the walls I can hear you coming With a rush and a strumming There's the electric phase Ain't no teenage craze I get what I'm doing. I hear it. I hear it now that I'm listening from a different perspective. So that guitar. So that's that's a fucking that that's just that strut sound. I mean, I did that that feels good to walk around the kitchen for, maybe puff up a little, start looking for what I need. Where am I at? Where am I at? What am I gonna do? Yeah, they're I'm fucking nuts. There's no chance I'm not. Right, the little lyrical, you pull the little things out of it, and I, I know what I'm doing. I'm, uh, yeah, it's like the secret. It's like uh, those who visualize and want shit to come true, but I don't, I don't. I want to make a connection with my kitchen, and I want the energies of the the area to know I'm 
at least in tune with it. I don't I don't know how to put this. I don't man, that just sounds crazy. But it is so much deeper than a warm-up song. I get it. I see what I'm 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 It's no different than visualization. I'm just not self-motivated. Uh, I don't believe I can, you know, channel through self. So it, it's... Hmm. Yes! Jeez, it's kind of ritualistic, I think. Uh, I know. There's no illusion So that, yeah, so it just, wow. So yeah, I'm a simple, simple, simple creature. And whatever that, that whoever put out that shit last week saying uh, the, the value of music is to the, uh, the, the, the small thinkers, the, the lesser humans, the intellectuals don't have time. It's not really, it doesn't, I, I wish I don't know it. I don't remember the whole thing, but there was this this moment. <clears throat> something went viral for a day and a half or whatever, and I think most people kind of dispelled it right away because, like, I think it's the exact opposite of what that article is. That music has always, always, from tribal beats on hollow logs to full progressive, uh, you know, dream theater shows. The power to transform, transport, uh, transcend has always been there. And uh, yeah, yeah, beware. As I, I were thinking of a comment yesterday, beware of what you find on the other side. Like LSD maybe opens doors you don't want to open. But music, you know, depending on uh, <clears throat> those energies reverberating around you, uh, yeah, it serves more good than, than Al, you know, there's a whole trance in like state induced by music too. So I, you know, I guess is what you use the transform uh, if it's if it's just uh, if it's emptying then I'm not a big fan but I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that it can all do too uh, I'm gonna have to go with fulfilling not emptying fulfilling is how I see music whether I'm just entering an electric phase, a tribal rhythm phase, or whatever you dig. Because on top of everything else, it's incredibly subjective. One size does not fit all. I understand that. I fielded a Dan Vass comment. They're like, oh, I love the reactions, even though I don't have any clue what you're talking about, and I'm positive I mention wow if you watched them all in order they would make at least more sense because it's all the same I discovered that it does not matter what the music is I just have to open my mind to it but the messaging the vibrational frequencies that can help me align with they're there they're everywhere 
just waiting to be tapped into and channeled a little bit. Hopefully for uh, the greater good of uh, those around you and then yourself by uh, karma court. You know, that's how you get to good stuff. If you can, if I can find a way to make everything around me a little better, hopefully that comes back to me in very positive ways. If I focus on self first, you know, you end up uh, um, on that pathway to that contractual arrangement that the crossroads this channel doesn't like to uh, 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 contemplate. Whoa. <laughs>
Uh, I, I, the bass pops on the songs like better than anything in my, you know, my personal opinion, all opinions for entertainment purposes only, of course, uh, vocally, um, just think dude's a hell of a singer. Just love the band. Always have. Uh, so, Hey, um, this is kind of about all the shit I'll be thinking at work in a few hours. So, you know, there it is. The simple, simple man doing simple things, trying to make ends meet. I can't believe that's much different than anybody else. Well, unless you're a lady or, you know, squirrel can spirit, then yeah, no, there's minute differences. Later. <laughs>